good morning, everybody. Good to be back today on our uh, early morning broadcast. We are uh, thanking the Lord for it today. If you're uh, just getting up, getting ready, tuning us in, we're thankful for you. Thank you for giving us this time, sharing it with us, praying for us, and commenting, and all the things that you do. And we ask that you might uh, kind of share it if you would. Uh, I know Jason's been coming on asking you to share it. and. We feel like the more people we can reach, the greater opportunity is to see somebody get saved. And so we're just thankful for what God is doing. I hope everybody had a, a wonderful and a most happy Thanksgiving. I hope you got to spend it with family and friends. And then we want to pray for those that uh, spend it with, in the absence of loved ones. We want to remember the families today and pray for them that lost loved ones. And then we want to pray for all the sick, the afflicted. Uh, keep praying for uh, me and Joanne. We thank the Lord for what he's doing and done for us and uh, for what he's, the time he's given us. And we do praise God for it today. And all of you that are out there that uh, commented and uh, back to us, and we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Grace cried a few of you. And we do appreciate every comment and all of your uh, prayers and that you're praying for us and your uh, uh, well-being uh, uh, wishes to us and may God bless you. Uh, remember today to keep praying for all that's in our church. Uh, Sister Marianne Gregory has passed away. That's Linda's mother. We'll be having a, a memorial service for her. I think December the 6th, I believe it's that right, on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock here at the church. And uh, be praying and prayer about that. And then there's others that have lost loved ones. We want to remember them in prayer. Keep praying for these in our church that are sick. Sister Wanda, I hope that you're better today. I'm looking forward to getting to see you back in church. And keep praying for uh, Melissa and her husband, uh, Houston. And keep praying for uh, Wade. Wade's doing good. And uh, Cindy today, Nancy, had some things uh, uh, fixed in her throat. And but she's doing well. And we want to uh, keep praying that she's uh, getting better and better today. And uh, just pray the Lord to touch and. Rosie's been having trouble with her back. We like to remember her and Wayne and uh, his, his needs. And also Sister Charlotte, we want to pray for her and pray for others in our church. Sister Kathy Blackman, she's had pneumonia, uh, but doing better. The last the last chance, uh, last account we had. And Kathy, we are looking forward to seeing you back in church. And uh, so let's just keep praying for the needs. We've got people who's I had tests done and different things that the children have and loved ones have. And so let's remember all of them in our prayers today. Pray the Lord would richly touch and bless. And uh, all that's in our church and all of you out there that's on our prayer book, we appreciate you that's called in or asked us to put you on our prayer chain, rather. We do appreciate you from the depths of our heart. Pray for our family that are lost. We pray for yours that are lost. Pray for our nation. God knows we need it today. Pray for Israel and pray for our men and women standing in harm's way and pray the Lord to touch and help uh, in all these needs and situations. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer and we'll be much in prayer for you. Father, we thank you that you gave us this day. We ask you, Lord, to bless our humble efforts this morning. Strengthen our bodies, God, and use us to bring glory to your name and honor. We do thank you, Father, for saving us, for reaching down in uh, the horrible pit and delivering us up and setting our feet upon the rock and giving us the promise of everlasting life. We do thank you, Father, for hearing prayer and answering according to thy will. And, Father, we pray for all the sick, the afflicted, God. We pray for these that are in the hospitals, the homes, and the rest homes. We pray where death has come for comfort in this time of bereavement. We pray, God, that you might reach out in all of our families and save those that are lost wherever they might be. And God, out there, wherever this message might go, reach out and touch the hearts, God, to the lost, that they might be saved. And Father, we pray for each church that's founded on the word. And as we all gather together, if it be thy will today, that uh, the word might feed the souls of your people and strengthen us. Revive us, O oh God, and let us all stand and be that you'd have us to be. God, I thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for your love now. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Send it to Clyde this morning. Hope you're doing well today. And uh, we do appreciate you, Sister Bobby and Mary Ann and Sister Alice. We send it to you and also to Sister Joe Carmen and uh, Linda and Charles. We send it to y'all today. And may God bless you as our prayer. And Jimmy, we send it over to you this morning. And Leon and Liz will be listening to the radio. Terry, you 
listening was sending to you and uh, all the folks in our church. We know uh, that'll probably be tuned in, Sister Wanda, and uh, appreciate that, and Joe and Sonia, and uh, may the Lord bless and faith you get in the listening gene, and also Deloitte and Nancy, we send it to y'all today, and, and Sister Kathy, like I said, Blackman, David, and Joyce, and may God bless you, Sister Marlene, if you're getting to watch today, and Ashley and Kenneth and the children, and uh, also to Kathy and Aaron, and uh, may God bless y'all today, and appreciate you from the bottom of our heart, and uh, we just want to send it out to y'all, Rosie and Wayne, if y'all listening this morning, we we'll send it to you, may God bless you, is our prayer today, Melissa's uh, if you're getting to listen, we send it out to you. And may God bless you as our prayer today also. And uh, I, I probably left somebody out, but not meaningly. We appreciate all of you out there today. May God bless you, Dennis and Ava. We send it to y'all this morning. May God bless you and uh, to Randy and Donna and, and uh, Malcolm and Ann. We send it to y'all. David and Tanya and Sarah Grace. We send it to y'all. Uh, Mike and Sarah, we send it to y'all today. And, uh, I know Mike, Mike's going to be working, but uh, we'll miss you today. May God bless you as our prayer. And uh, others out there this morning, I know Joseph will make a dedication. We appreciate all you folks that follow us, that comment, and we just love every one of you and thank God for you today. We're uh, going to do a song or two out of Mildred's folder. Uh, uh, you that knew Mildred, why you'll, you'll remember the songs that, that we do and we do appreciate you today, and we do miss her, and we miss all of our family today. Well, there's another country waiting on the yonder, just across the rolling tide. It is a land of gladness, never any sadness, where God's children abide. I can hear the singing, hear the bells ringing, coming from my Yeah. 
Send this out to everybody we want to do, Randy and Cindy and Wanda, to Keith and Rosie Chapman, Miss Cook, to Miss Scoggins and uh, Diane Scoggins and Miss Potter, uh, and uh, to uh, Judy Potter, to uh, Miss Mary Davis and her husband Jean, and to uh, her sister Diane and her husband Johnny, and to the brother JB, and to Charlotte and to JD and Ellen, and uh, we love y'all, and Charlotte, we love you, and uh, we send it out to uh, uh, Danny and to Benny, if y'all happen to be listening, and uh, whoever else might be listening, we love all of you and appreciate it. And, uh, let's say, uh, and Dave, John, and the kids, but I love, yeah, I love you, of course. But, um, let's see if I remember this song. This might not be the right. In lowly cat stable, in Bethlehem. There were signs of huge destruction on the mighty span. In the hearts of all the lost, as the shadow of the cross, that they didn't bear this
true. Amen. Daddy was talking about Mildred. I'm going to do a song. Daddy used to do a lot. He still does it every now and then. But Mildred had it on her mind. Every time I'd go visit her, and when I'd sing it, she'd call me David every time. And, That's right. Uh, one of the guys that was with me said, why don't you ever correct her? I said, I've been called a lot worse. And I said, if she thinks I'm daddy, that's a compliment because that's one of her dear best friends. I said, so. Uh, Though the crowd was great, she knew she had. Oh uh-huh. 
And may God bless you is our prayer. We sure don't mean to leave nobody out. Uh, but I, I'm glad there's more people commenting than I can remember uh, up here with the call names. I'm glad that uh, God has given us a great host of people out there today. All right, uh, son, let's come on around. You pray for Joseph now. I've been trying to do these songs by memory, so if I mess them up, then y'all just overlook it. Uh, I'm not sure maybe he can play it on this one. Uh, Send this out also to uh, Doris and Eileen. Doris tells me I can just sing any song and dedicate it to her, and that'd be all right. So we send this into it. If for years now, me and Sue, I'm out there in the street, just trying to get a glimpse of the glittering stone. Chasing the end of the rainbow, in search for a part of home. Yeah. 
You do pray for us and pray the Lord to bless out there today as we uh, try to bring the word of God. And uh, there's, uh, you know, that's important to me. It's important to me that we uh, proclaim thus saith the Lord. Uh, there's a lot of, of, of different things going along out, out there in this world today. There's all kind of doctrines and um, people have gone through the Bible and dissected it. Took a little word here and a little word there and trying to uh, make themselves... Uh, God, uh, God pleaser by being a man pleaser, but you can't, you know, you got to separate yourself from the world if you're going to do God's will, you got to do God's will, if not, you just are not in, in his will at all, so I just want to pray, I'm not going to preach on all these uh, heretical things today, but uh, you know they're there this morning, and uh, it's very evident, amen. Luke 22, just going to read two verses, 61 and 62. Very familiar. I want you to notice. And the Lord turned and looked upon Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord. How he had said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. Let us pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you let us come this morning. Thank you for the precious word, dear God, that uh, is accessible to us today. God, thank you for this Bible that we can open and read and study and pray. And God, just, just quote the words, dear God, in our heart and our mind can bring forth what thus saith the Lord. We're thankful, God, today that we can come together by means of this uh, broadcast and reach out to the homes where we're going, wherever they might be, and to the hearts of the people. We pray, God, now that you just challenge our heart and God anoint us with your power. Father, let this message be meaningful to the hearts of the people. May somebody be saved somewhere this morning, God. And Father, may, uh, may they let us know. And God, if they are, the Bible says there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels over one sinner uh, that repenteth. And I pray, oh God, they'll be rejoicing today. Have your way this morning, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, uh, you know, this is uh, uh, not an unfamiliar Bible, uh, Bible verses, and we find a friend of mine that Peter had denied the Lord. We find Peter's response was swift, and it was absolute. We find that his heart was smitten by sin, uh, uh, that it broke his fellowship with the Lord, 
because sin had entered into his heart. And friend of mine, it's, that's what I want to talk about along that matter this morning because I want to bring to you a thought and I, I don't know how fast we'll preach it or nothing, but it's sent from God. I'll guarantee you that. But I, I want to send you a thought about a spiritual loneliness. And I, I want you to think about that today. People try to fill their life with all the joy and the glitter of the world. And I, I try to, friend of mine, uh, I fill their life with all these things to escape the fact that they are lonely in spiritual means. They're lonely because they have allowed sin to come into their heart. They have neglected God's will in their life. They have refused the God's altar call to come and confess their sin. And they're, uh, Well, let me get into this. I, I want to begin by saying to every heart under the sound of my voice, and I, I hope you'll listen to me intently today, that uh, I want you to understand that if you've allowed the pleasures of the world, if you've allowed the lust of the flesh to lead you astray, uh, like a sheep that's been wandering away from the fold, if there's not, and I want to stress that to you this morning, if there is not a feeling of spiritual loneliness in your heart, if there is not a yearning uh, to renew your fellowship that you once had with the Lord, then I can't believe that you ever had a personal relationship with the Lord to start with. Can you hear me? Friend of mine, if you can hang it on the doorknob, if you can turn your back and walk away, if you can forget about God, if you can let your mind, friend of mine, forget about how you've been rescued from the very damnations of hell and how you've been had your feet set up on the rock. If none of that bothers you, if none of that doesn't put a yearning in your heart to come back and be in fellowship with God, then I don't believe you've ever had a relationship with the Lord at all. I'm, you say, well, you can't say that. You can't judge me. I'm not judging you. I, I, you're judging yourself by the fruit that's on your tree out there this morning. Amen. There's got to be some spiritual loneliness. Amen. There's got to be a yearning to renew fellowship uh, with the Lord. If you've ever known him, friend of mine, you'll want to stay in fellowship with him. We all uh, uh, walk away. We've all been disobedient. Uh, uh, we've all been chastened because, a friend of mine, uh, of the things of the flesh. But I'm here to tell you, God put something in me bigger than the world. And, a uh, friend of mine, the world's never been bigger than my God since I made God my God. Amen. Uh, before I made him my God, the world was bigger. But now that I have come to know him as Lord and Savior, there's nothing bigger than him I, uh, in my life this morning. Well, let me go on. Amen. When Jesus saves a soul from the damnation of hell and washes them with his blood, they become as white as snow, friend of mine. Now that soul becomes a child of God. That's what you are. If you're saved out there this morning, a child of God. And therefore, I, I, you become a part of God's wonderful family. I, and that establishes, friend of mine, a closeness that uh, is beyond all other experiences. Did you know that? I, uh, when you become a child of God, a part of the family of God, I, there is a closeness that is established, I, I, friend of mine, between you and God and from between you and, and the other children of God. God and the family of God, I, I like none that you've ever had before. Well, uh, let me give you an example of, of the fleshly family. I, I friend of mine, if you love your family, I know there's people out there today that uh, is in embitterment one with another. They are uh, 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 striving one with another. There's not, they don't have fellowship one with another. I, I, I realize that, but I, I'm talking to you out there this morning that uh, if you love your family, and I believe deep down there uh, is a love people just don't want to dig deep enough to find it. Uh, 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 for the family, but there is a love for the family. But uh, if you love your family that's in this life, then uh, there's a bond, as I'm talking about, of closeness for them. Uh, and there's a desire for fellowship when times of uh, separation come, when a family even has to move far away from one another, uh, uh, when a time comes that they can all come together under one roof, uh, it's a special time, isn't it? Uh, a well, friend of mine, consider this. Uh, having become the Son of God, uh, uh, being loved by God, being saved by God, being embraced in His arms, uh, uh, then to allow sin to separate you, drive you uh, away from Him, and harden your heart that you can't feel His presence, uh, and deafen your ears that you no longer hear His voice uh, uh, through His Word anymore. Uh, I believe it causes the spiritual loneliness uh, uh, to overshadow you. I, I believe it does. Uh, there ain't no loneliness like the loneliness uh, uh, when you're out of fellowship with God. There's nothing today, absolutely nothing. Uh, 
Uh, friend of mine can help you in that issue. Uh, except to repent of your sins and be reconciled uh, again unto God. Do you hear me? Uh, in your heart you know what you need to do. Conviction comes. Uh, every sinner friend of mine. A uh, uh, friend of mine that's ever been a believer in Jesus Christ. A uh, uh, friend of mine when you walk away. When you reject God. When you turn your back. Uh, uh, you know what you need to do. Uh, uh, there's conviction that comes in your heart. Uh, uh, you know you need to humble your heart before the Lord. You know you need to repent uh, of your own doings. You know you need to ask for forgiveness. Uh, uh, you know you need to renew the broken vow uh, uh, that you can uh, restore uh, uh, that closeness and fellowship with God. Uh, uh, but for many out there this morning, the devil has managed to convince them uh, uh, that it's too late to pray. Uh, uh, maybe you're one of those out there. Maybe that's why God sent this message. Uh, uh, maybe you've turned your back on the Lord. I, I, I'm not saying, friend of mine, that God is pleased with any sin in our life. He's not. I, he's not pleased with any disobedience in our life. But I'm here to tell you that God's grace and mercy is sufficient I, I, for all of our needs out there today. I'm here to tell you that as a child of God, you have a father, a heavenly father, I, I, that's arms is outstretched that bids you to come unto him. I, I, there's not one thing in your life that God can't help you with. I, I, there's not one wrong that God can't fix uh, in your life between you and him. Understand that. I, I, the devil's got people convinced it's too late. Uh, uh, to pray. They've got them convinced that prayer would be of no benefit uh, uh, because the Lord would not hear them. Uh, uh, if that's you, I just want to say to you today that uh, a friend of mine, uh, 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 that is of the devil. Uh, and the devil is telling you lies. Uh, and the devil is a liar and the father of it today. Uh, uh, the Bible says he walks about like a lion, uh, uh, roaring, uh, uh, seeking whom he may devour. Uh, and he accomplishes this through deceit. You've been deceived. Uh, he Compass this through evil schemes and trickery. Uh, uh, we can wrap it up in one word if you want to. Uh, uh, beguilement. Uh, uh, the devil is beguiling the hearts of mankind. Uh, uh, the devil is confusing the mind uh, uh, of people today. Amen. Uh, uh, there's people today, friend of mine, that used to sit in the house of God. A uh, uh, friend of mine that no longer care uh, about the sound of the gospel. Why? Uh, uh, they were impressed. They didn't possess salvation. Uh, uh, they were impressed. They had a feeling. Uh, it was all in their mind. It never got into their heart. Uh, if it ever gets down into the heart of mankind, uh, uh, you'll have a desire to serve God. You'll have a desire uh, uh, to worship God. You'll have a desire uh, uh, to fellowship with God and His people. I say that, amen. Uh, I want to say today that the world uh, and all of its glitter doesn't have enough things, uh, as I said, to fill the empty place in the heart uh, uh, that's consumed by spiritual loneliness. Uh, you can run to the four corners of the world. Uh, uh, you'll never find anything uh, uh, friend that can fill your heart uh, uh, and, uh, and, and, and do anything for this spiritual loneliness. Uh, uh, friend listen uh, uh, there's people today that's driven uh, uh, they'll let sin drive themselves farther and farther away from God. Uh, uh, some are letting their sin blackmail them uh, uh, trying to hide their own doings from others. Uh, uh, friend listen uh, uh, you're trying to hide your sin from man uh, a man friend of mine can only judge you. Uh, a man might kill the body, but uh, he can't kill the soul. The Bible said, fear him uh, who can destroy both body and soul in hell fire. Uh, why you let your sin blackmail you? Uh, uh, because you don't want man to find out. Uh, uh, you're running headlong in the wrong direction. Uh, in a direction of destruction. Uh, and you need to turn around now. Uh, uh, people are in constant turmoil. Uh, uh, trying to do everything and anything. Uh, uh, to keep their sin from crying out against them. Uh, when they're crying out in way. Uh, uh, whether you hear them or not, they're crying out to God. Uh, uh, God knows your heart. God knows your thought. Uh, and God knows the intents of your heart this morning. Uh, and the Holy Spirit of God is knocking. You may not hear Him. Uh, uh, you may come so calloused and cold uh, uh, that you don't hear the Spirit knocking, but He's still knocking. Uh, uh, God's still reaching out to you. There's still hope for you. Uh, out there today, if you'll come unto the Lord. Uh, uh, people, uh, when they get almost ready to confess, uh, almost ready to bring their sins to the Lord. Uh, and then the devil will bring an attack upon, attack upon the flag. Uh, and he'll unleash all his arsenals of devices against them. Uh, that cause the heart to reject that knocking uh, of the Holy Ghost and become cold and callous. Uh, now that's what you are. You're a product uh, of the arsenals of the devils. Uh, uh, schemes and trickery and devices.
high seat. I pray the mind is time today to come out from underneath the bondage of your sin and call upon the name of the Lord and be released this morning. I pray the Bible says we draw nigh to God. He'll draw nigh to us. If we refuse the devil, I pray that he'll flee from us. I pray and listen to me out there today. I want every heart to know that fellowship with the Lord is the only thing that can suppress a spiritual loneliness. You'll not find it anywhere else. You won't find it in money. You won't find it in worldly position. You won't find it in the mind no matter what job you've got. The only thing that can suppress the spiritual loneliness is fellowship with the Lord That's Jesus right. Christ. Only fellowship with the Lord can make your countenance shine again. I can restore the inner joy that you once had and ever so needs that, don't it? In Psalms 51, I'll not get done. I'm just getting started. Friend, listen. There's a perfect example of a heart that's lost fellowship with the Lord. I know it was his own doing, but it's an example, friend of mine, of one that's deeply feeling a spiritual loneliness that we've been talking about. David was king, and he did everything in the king's power to hide his sin. But you can't hide your sin from God. He did everything to hold his head up before the people. But David had lost something. He had committed adultery with Bathsheba. He had had her husband Uriah killed. Then he took her to wife because she was with child. It was his child. Did you understand that? But God sent a message to him. Confronted him about his sin. And David's heart was smitten, I believe, in the stillness as he pondered on what God had said. To him he was reminded of what he once had. And he was reminded of what he found himself left with. I'm convinced that David was face to face of a spiritual loneliness. I friend, he wanted to break the bond that held him tightly. He wanted to be renewed. He wanted to be washed thoroughly from his iniquities. He wanted to hear joy and gladness that the bones that the Lord had broken might be joined. He said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of thy Amen. salvation and uphold me in thy right with thy Amen. free spirit. Listen, if that's not a sign of spiritual loneliness, you tell me what he is. Friend, there was a desire of deep feeling in his heart to get back where he needed to be. David know he sinned. He said, I was sinned against thee, God. And the only friend, that's where we're sinning today. Listen, David, by his own action, had deprived himself of honest, sincere worship and reign. Friend, his heart was filled with spiritual loneliness. You can feel his despair as you read these words. You can almost hear it in his voice as you envision a heart that's been awoken to the wrongdoing. Listen to me, friend. David's response was immediate when he heard the message. When Nathan said, Thou art the man. I pray he said, I've sinned against God. That's what our response should be this morning. It should be immediate. I pray we should come to terms with our sin. We should face up to the things we've done. And we should cry out to God for His grace, His mercy, and His forgiveness. And it should be immediate. You shouldn't wait this morning. Now's the time. Today's the day right now uh, that God is calling you. Uh, uh, that God wants you to know, sinner, uh, uh, that you can come home. Uh, uh, just like the prodigal son did, uh, you can come home. Uh, right. you got to come to your senses. you got to realize uh, uh, that it's you that sinned. It's not God that did anything against you, uh, uh, but you that did everything against God. Uh, and you got to set your face toward heaven. Uh, uh, you got to want to repent. you got to want to confess. you got to want to come uh, uh, back to the Lord. Uh, uh, the prodigal son found what he was looking for. Uh, uh, there ain't no reason why you and I can't do the same. Uh, if we'll just come and like, well, my time is gone. I know that. Uh, uh, but I'm preaching about spiritual loneliness. Uh, if you feel that in your heart, uh, uh, then cry out to God. Call upon His name. Uh, uh, friend of mine, why you still have time? May God bless you uh, uh, to a little while. Amen and amen.